Recently, the prison was attacked and sustained a lot of heavy damage. There's a ton of fire and holes everywhere. The police HQ is in an even worse state. It's basically turned into a giant obby. Well, today the developers finally revealed the brand new prison that will be coming to the game this weekend. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, here we are on the Bedemo Twitter page. They attached a 17 second video showcasing the brand new prison. I'm going to play the full video though muted because I don't want to get copyrighted. Then afterwards I'll break it down frame by frame to show everything that's coming. Okie dokie, so that was a pretty quick teaser of what's to come. So the teaser starts off with a general view of the prison. We can see it's very similar to the one we have already. The prison complex is over here, the visitor center is over here, and the police station is over here. However, there are significant changes. We can see the field has been moved a little bit. The fence is now farther away from the field. The prison complex also seems to be a bit larger, and the police station is definitely much larger. The walls are also more fortified. Here we can see a SEMO running. There's a small police base in here. I have to think this is inside the prison itself. Then here is a view of the prison from the outside. This is probably the very front of the prison. Here we can see the visitor center. This is the police base. The watchtowers are significantly changed. Here's another view of the prison. This gives us a much better look at the center itself. We can see the prison courtyard is pretty much the same. And here we can get another good look at the front. Here are the two watchtowers. And here we can see a bunch of prison cells around the sides. This is where prisoners are going to spawn in after they get arrested. We can see a SEMO running down into the prison block. These are the stairs which lead out of the prison block. Then we get a shot of the gun store. They're going to be adding one of these to the prison. Here we see a SEMO running to the area where you punch the electric box to get out. Seems like they're still going to have that escape. You can see the box over there. Here we see a SEMO running to a manhole cover. Looks like the sewer escape has been moved. Instead of right next to the police building, it's going to be in the middle. We see some footsteps there, which are meant to be clues for new players. And here we get a look at the revamped sewer escape. It's much larger and looks a lot cooler than the one we have now. Though I'm definitely going to miss the one we have now because it's been here for years. Here's another view of the sewer escape. Then here's a view of the police HQ interior. And here we get a vent. Looks like you're going to be able to break into the police HQ with this vent. Pretty sussy. And here we can see the electric box you have to punch. And this is where you get into after punching the box. Looks like you're going to be able to get out by jumping onto boxes and the umbrella as shown by the footsteps. Here we can see a SEMO flying a helicopter over the prison. Looks like there's actually going to be two sewer entrances. One will be where the current sewer entrance is. The other one will be in the courtyard. We can also see a crew leaderboard over there. Also, you're going to be able to get into the visitor's center from the inside of the prison, whereas beforehand you couldn't. And here they say we're going to get familiar spaces. This was a part of the OG prison, more specifically the cafeteria. And here we get that same layout again. The OG cafeteria is back. Here's another view of the cafeteria. And here's a view of the place where prisoners can call their families. Here's a view of the police complex. Here's a view of the visitor center. Here's a view of the cell block. Oh yeah, also there's a crane in the background. And as we can see here, there's construction going on. And the video ends with a look at a prisoner inside one of the cells. He's wearing a striped hat and he has some chains over his body. This might be the guy who attacked the prison in the first place, though we have no idea who this is. It could just be some random prisoner. And here, they just mentioned the prison update coming in June. Also, Asima mentioned that the new cell room is deliberately made larger so they could test possibly expanding the server count in the future. And he mentioned that there will be more to reveal in future months, specifically relating to the thing under construction. One intention of the revamped prison is to bring police activity back to the prison. When they added the police HQ a couple years ago, Cop activity was moved from the prison to the city. Now cops mainly spawn there, and the prison has largely been abandoned by cops. This update is an effort to try to get them back to the prison, so it seems like the police HQ will likely be removed completely and they won't bother revamping it. Also, they're going to add the helicopter spawn back to the police base by the museum in some part to compensate it. 
Overall, I think the prison revamp looks pretty cool. I'm going to miss the old prison for sure. I think the revamp the prison got in 2019 was spectacular. However, it's time to progress. I'm excited to see what other changes will arrive with the revamped prison. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of the revamped prison? Are you excited? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.